and you get the get the net for this one he's feeling heavy could it be your pb mang if it is a mang so donnie's a huge fan of this type of species and i told him i was going to bring him out here and put him on some mangs and that's what we're doing Woo. absolute toad and if you're wondering why my shirt's off what is up guys and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day me and my buddy donnie went out on this trip we caught so many fish that are so good to eat that i'm actually going to make it a few part episode we're going to be doing three catch and cook episodes out of all the footage that we got today we're going to be catching some mangrove snapper i'm going to be bringing you guys back in the kitchen for an amazing, amazing recipe that I just made up from scratch. Oh my gosh, I just can't even, I, I can't describe it, so I'm gonna make it for you guys in this episode. Really excited to share that with you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this is your first time viewing one of my episodes, welcome to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to this channel. We got a ton of new episodes coming on the way. I don't want, I, I didn't want to dive into this episode with like a, with like a negative vibe or anything, but I wanted to share a little bit something. I wanted to share a little bit about myself, a little a little personal stuff um, that I just want to share with you guys because you guys mean a lot to me. I appreciate every, everyone that follows this channel. I'm so thankful for you guys. I, I'm so thankful for all the nice comments that you guys give me, all the thumbs up. It, it just really helps my channel and it really helps me. I'm just, I, I feel like I'm, you know, living this journey with you guys and that's kind of why i want to share this with you Whew. just um just a couple days ago was the two-year mark of me losing my dad to suicide and i wanted to share that with you guys not only because you guys mean a lot to me but because it's just it's real life these things happen and and um they're very unfortunate things that happen, uh, like this COVID thing and, and all these lives that are being taken. And it, it's extremely, it's extremely sad stuff. It's, it's really, um, it's really heartbreaking these things that happen though. But I want to let you guys know that I try my best to look at the good with the bad. Um, I know that me losing my dad to suicide was kind of a kind of a messed up situation and and it's sad and all that but you know I know how much my dad was passionate about fishing he taught me so much of what I know about fishing and when I'm out there on the water when I'm catching a ton of fish when I'm putting clients on fish on my fishing charters that really is what inspires me to keep on moving keep on pressing on because I know that I'm doing a lot of it in honor of him in, in honor of him teaching me all the things that he taught me. And um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hey, I hope you guys enjoy these episodes. I, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. But after this video, guys, I want you guys to do three things for me. I want you to comment, tell me how you like this video. I want you to hit that big thumbs up if you did like this video. And I want you to reach out to somebody you love, whether it's your mom, your dad, or just somebody that you love, and just tell them that you love them. I love you guys, let's dive into this episode. Day out here, time to go offshore and send it, baby. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden. I will find a light in your soul, I'll be there. Never leaving you in the darkness, even when you're out of focus. I will be the light in your life, you'll see it clear. I'll be the inspiration. Is, but it might be a fish that makes Donnie pretty excited. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Yeah. This is what I brought you out here for, bro. I got him, I got him, I got him. You got him? Yeah. Good job. 
Damn. <laughs> Bro, look at the size of that man. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm bringing you into the honey hole, baby. <laughs> Come here, Donnie. Let's talk about this for a second. Get on that side. So Donnie's a huge fan of this type of species. And I told him I was gonna bring him out here and put him on some mangs. And that's what we're doing. Woo! Absolute toad. And if you're wondering why my shirt's off, the first five minutes we were here, I, I fell in the water. So there's my shirt drying off. Woo! Let's get in some mangs, Donnie. That's a toad. How do you like nice that? Nice job. The heat on him, boy. Oh, please be a mang. <laughs> it's possible. You saw how he was pulling the 7500. Could it be your PB mang? If it is a mang? What is your best? Dang, that's big. Looks like a good fish, whatever it is. Bounty. One. In the water with the glare right here. Yeah. There he is. Mang. Sweet. Nice. It's the species. It's the species. Nice. That's so cute, man. <laughs> I mean, generally, this would be a really nice fish. He's appearing to be. It was a free line white bait. That looks like one. Oh, yeah, I see him. Butthole pucker up or what? Check that one out. Beauty. Mang. It's a nice one. Nothing wrong with that one. Not at all. I like it. Drop down the split shot size and drop down the split shot side and make it happen, huh? Back in the game, bro. A couple sandwiches. Yeah. Nice. A little better mang there. Oof. I have to slide these down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little nicer mang there. Ooh. That's the biggest mang of the day right there. That's a monster. <laughs> That's a nice fish. Try to kick that up. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are back at the house in the kitchen. We caught some mangrove snapper. This is just one of the fillets right here. And what we're simply gonna be doing is chunking this up. We're just gonna be chunking up this fillet, nice little chunks, nice little bite-sized chunks. So we're gonna do this way. And you can actually cut along with how it kind of falls apart, right, this little loin section right here. Makes it nice and easy to put in a nice bite-sized pieces like that. Mangrove snapper is just always delicious. And this is a seasoning that I just recently started using. It's fantastic. Um, this is Everglades Heat, um, which has a little spice to it. It's not too, cra it's not crazy spicy, but then also Everglades uh, Original, which has no spice. It has uh, more of like a, a, a more of a herb flavor. That's what I was looking for. All right, so what I have here is something that my wife uses for one of her recipes, and this is just some leftover coconut milk. Um, and I like to put the heat on about medium heat. The, the stove top, get that pan warm. And uh, you're just gonna put it in, it's gonna be chunking in, 
The reason why it's chunky like that is because it's coconut, and coconut is uh, is a saturated fat. So if it actually, if that temperature is room temperature, it ferments. That's probably more detail than you guys want to know. <laughs> so, so what I like to do is I like to season this up, this coconut milk, up with some Everglades seasoning heat, and it kind of gives it that Cajun flavor. And we're gonna stir that in there in some Kate in some original, but also as that's heating up, we're gonna go over here to the fish, and we're also gonna dust this also with a little seasoning, so just so that seasoning is all up in that fish and um it just it's just an amazing simple recipe nothing nothing too complicated about it um but it's a recipe that's super rich in flavor and it's just delicious that's why i wanted to share it with you guys so as that's kind of like almost marinating in there um we're gonna wait for that to heat up it's one tablespoon you just cut one of those slices just like that and that's starting to heat up now, perfect. Since that's already simmering, you just wanna stir this up, just like this. Let that butter melt into your sauce. Now we'll take our fish, and we'll throw it in there. Make sure it's covered in the sauce, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we are now going to put the lid on top of it, just like this. We're gonna put it on low heat and literally just let it slow cook into that sauce. It looks so good. I know it's gonna be so hot. Here it goes, guys. This is the moment of truth. You guys know I like to call, <laughs> y'all know I like to call this the moment of truth. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum. Holy smokes. Mmm, look at that. White, flaky, mangrove snapper. It's kind of hard to cook mangrove snapper wrong. That's why I wanted to try this recipe. Little coconut milk, little Everglades original, little Everglades heat, and some butter, all mixed together. Slow simmer, easy peasy. Super good recipe. Very, very um, rich in flavor. And uh, Mango Snapper really doesn't need much to make it amazing. So, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek on uh, what's going to come up in a couple days. Like I said, I have three Catch and Cook episodes. So, the next episode is going to be all about... Definitely a nice fish. That's a 30.